Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Liz. Welcome if you're new. Tonight I'm showing you my oral care routine with two missing teeth. I didn't really know about these two missing teeth until Invisalign. I'd been told that they were missing, but I didn't really believe it. Wishful thinking. <laughs> and once Invisalign widened my jaw, I was able to see that it was painfully obvious. And now there's no missing it. <laughs> can provide quite a challenge when caring for my smile. So if you want to know what it's like for me, then just keep on watching and give this video a thumbs up so I know I'm doing the right thing. Okay, so one of my first steps when my retainers are starting to taste a little bit salty is to soak them in retainer bright for 15 minutes. So I grab this container which don't worry gets rinsed out with very hot water and I fill it. Uh, ideally it should be warm but I don't want to run the risk of melting my retainers so tonight I'm just going to do cold water because I found it works just as effectively and so if you've never heard of a retainer bite, all you do is rip this open and there is a little dissolvable tablet that gets dropped in here where it dissolves and um, the retainers are put in there. So let me go and get those. Now I got my retainers the day after my birthday last year. And so because I'm past the nine month mark, I now only have to wear them at night time. So, pick this up and I'm just gonna be quick and pour them in. And they're sitting in there. And I will be back in 15 minutes. So 15 minutes went very quickly. I filmed a restocking the rice video and uploaded that to TikTok and shorts and then just sat on my bed waiting for the timer to go. So it has and the water turns very very blue because that's the colour of the tablet and so the next step after that is to brush my teeth and leave that just a couple of minutes away. This is my toothbrush. Not pink and sparkly. <laughs> and I have this little cover from another brush that I had. And I thought, eh, brush isn't that good, but I'll keep the cover. So I did. <laughs> I always rinse my toothbrush in some cold water before I put the toothpaste on. And then I grab the toothpaste, which at the moment I'm using the Colgate Advanced Whitening with Tata Control. And I'm going to pour some of that on there. I use much more than I used to. I used to use like the tiniest blob. <laughs> but I don't know, ever since I've been going to the dentist for Invisalign and hygiene treatments, I've come a long way. So then I just put a teensy bit more water on the top just so it doesn't feel too dry. I had to think about that. And I don't usually kneel on the floor to do this, but I will just this once. And so I was taught that you do it like when you're painting your nails. So. Going downward. Or upward if you're on the bottom of your row. And then on the on the top of the molars, you can go like that. Bottom of the molars is like a cupcake. And then as you can see, same for the back of the teeth as the front of the teeth. 
rolling. And my hygienist told me that the slimmer the bristles, the better. So I'm just gonna pop my toothbrush kind of sitting up a little bit. And I'm going to grab a floss pick and some toilet paper. Or well, tissue paper. I don't know what it's called in other countries. We call it toilet paper here. Which I saw a whole truckload of it earlier. It was so satisfying to look at. Okay, so. When flossing, you want to hug your teeth basically. Of course, it helps if you don't have a cavity. Right there. Ow. And the purpose of flossing is to get anything that you missed. Now here's where it gets interesting. Now I only come as far as here when I'm first doing it. And then I go over to the other side. And then once I get to the middle, that's when I'll be really careful because I don't want to cut my gum. So using a clean hand which i did wash them but i'm gonna wash them again i pull my lip down And very carefully just get any plaque that might be sitting here. And then comes the fun part. And I always just rinse them in a bit of extra plain water. And then because I don't like the taste of Retainer Bright, I'm going to get what is left on my toothbrush, rinse it off, and then lightly scrub them so that any toothpaste that's left in the brush can clean it and give it a nice minty flavour and then I just rinse those off and this one has a U on it so that's the upper same as Invisalign Rinse my toothbrush once more. Rinse the cover. I should probably soak it in hot water in a couple of days, but there we are. Dry it, which I'm doing off camera. <laughs> and put that back in. And then my favorite thing before I do the mouthwash is to 
Gold Panda. Dell. Ooh, that was a good movement. Now, last bit. And this cap here has a 10mm measure, so Right, bottoms up. And we're done. This is a measure of how far I've come in my oral care journey. I could only do 10 seconds of mouthwash when I first started and I can do a whole minute. So if you practice, you will get perfect. So one of my first steps when my retainers are tying to... Where it... Oh!